Hey, it's Scott. I wanted to come online and talk to you today about the t-shirt that I'm wearing. It sounds crazy. This is a t-shirt, but there's a lot of characteristics around this t-shirt that make it important. Not often I would make a video about a t-shirt, but this shirt is special. There's a lot of characteristics around this t-shirt that make it important. There are three main ones. Number one, it's made from organic cotton. Starting to see a lot more of that. That's awesome. Number two, it's dyed using natural dyes. Number three, the goal of this company, Industry of All Nations, is the, is the company that made this shirt is to propagate sustainable local economies that are good for the people that live there, good for the environment, that aren't harmful in any way, and that help facilitate the end-to-end -end production of a garment. So growing the cotton, growing the indigo that's used to dye the cotton, harvesting the indigo, processing the indigo, processing the cotton, and actually constructing the garments all in these local economies, which is just fantastic. The vast majority of clothes that we wear every day are colored using synthetic petroleum-based chemical dyes, a very ugly process that has negative consequences on the environment, to say the least. This shirt, simple blue t-shirt, doesn't seem remarkable at all. But this shirt's actually been dipped into indigo dye 12 times. Each time that happens, the shirt has to be removed, dried, brought back in, and dipped again. That's how this shirt wound up having the dark blue color that it has. And when you buy a shirt that's made from indigo, you're actually buying it based upon the number of times that the shirt's been dipped. A shirt that's been dipped six times is going to be a lot lighter than a shirt that's been dipped 12 times. The shirt's made from organic cotton. It is super soft. It is, the color is rich. It's vibrant. It's beautiful. Uh, it has that sort of natural unevenness to it, which I like. It has a really timeless style about it. So, I mean, it's a t-shirt, but it has a classic cut. So it's not going to be something that falls out of fashion a year or two from now. It'll be something that I'll have probably for the rest of my life. And it has a story to it. It has a, a story of helping communities come together and, and support themselves and developing local economies outside of these mass production facilities that you see in, in largely two Asian countries. So. It's helping to make economies and, and communities and, and people work together in a sustainable way that's not harming the environment. The, the indigo is actually not even irrigated. It relies on regular rainfall. The harvest is done so that the plant will continue to produce fruit going forward. They don't just chop the whole thing down. The, the indigo will continue to yield product. The plant will continue to yield going forward even after it's harvested. There's some water used during the, the harvesting process as they convert it from into, into dye, but that water is diverted, whatever the excess is, is diverted into local farmlands because it's completely unharmed. It's not treated with petroleum chemicals or any of that stuff. There's no GMOs, there's no None of that stuff. This was a, from a, a place in India where that, where that was harvested. And in that same area, they did the dyeing and the manufacturing as well. So that communal effort yielded the shirt that I'm wearing. And that's pretty awesome. That's the goal of this company, Industry of All Nations, is to produce garments in an ecosystem that 
is comprised of end to end growing the cotton, dyeing the cotton, processing the cotton, creating the garment, and then distributing it to different areas around the world through their organization. If you haven't checked them out already, they have a wide assortment of different garments available on their website, all produced using natural dyes. In fact, this shirt, I feel honestly a little bit guilty. One of the things that they promote and that they encourage is folks to just wear natural cotton, cottons that, cotton that's not dyed, cotton that's not treated. It has a beautiful, creamy, natural look to it. A number of different products on their website that are all timeless style that are undyed, but they, their, their thesis is that if you're going to sell colored product, then it needs to be dyed using natural methods. And that's what they've done. So they do have other garments that do, they do have other colors. Each of those are done are dyed using natural dyes as well. And they're not only a fair trade company, but they're actually well beyond that because they're not just paying a wage, they're establishing ecosystems or economies in these different environments that previously maybe only a fraction of the economy exists. Maybe it was a farm where they sent all of the cotton over to Asia for processing. And instead of sending all the cotton away, now they're able to harvest the cotton, process it, and dye it and create new garments in their own community. So it's building up a sustainable industry and a sustainable craft in a way that's positive for both the community and for the environment in which they reside. So it's pretty awesome. It's a pretty cool methodology that this company has come up with. And again, that's why we're here is to really broadcast that and amplify that message of these companies that are doing good. Industry of all nations, they have a few different locations, but for the most part, they're not a brand that you would have heard of or is wi not a brand that's widely recognizable. And that's why I wanted to come on here and talk about this today. Their product line is fantastic. The shirt was $48, so it's not cheap, but there are certainly more expensive t-shirts. Many cases, the expense going to the pockets of shareholders and the pockets of um, large corporations that, that have put together extensive marketing to promote these expensive products. And in most cases, they're made with conventional materials uh, cotton that's genetically modified, that's been treated with pesticides, that's commercially farmed and harvested in a way that's not positive for the environment or for the land on which it's grown. So the $48 is not an inexpensive shirt. For where that $48 is going and what it's able to accomplish and the level of time, effort, energy, and conscious thought that went into the production of this, um, I actually think it probably should cost a little bit more, to be honest with you. And I'm happy to pay it. I, I I'm feel good about paying it. And the amount of effort that went into the creation of this shirt, it deserves at least that. I won't be buying a ton of clothing, but I'll make selective purchases for timeless pieces from this product line that I believe will enhance the wardrobe that I have and will stay with me over the many, 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 many years that I expect this, this piece to be in my closet and that will serve and fit a function that I don't have right now. This is the packaging that it came in. You may think this is plastic, but it's actually made out of vegetable starch and be, can be composted. It can be recycled with paper. The rest of it is mostly just brown paper. Uh, so that all can be composted. It's a low waste, low impact uh, production process and distribution process. And that's all anybody can ask for. And this is going back to the, the way that garments used to be manufactured prior to the 1870s. Around that time is when petroleum dyes were introduced and they took off very, very quickly because they're fast and they work. 
they're effective, but they are brutal on the environment. So there's towns overseas where you watch the river flow and it flows a different color depending on what color fabric they're making that day. That's not the case with this. It did make a long journey to get here. So there are some externalities that are not that are negative w around this, but overall, there's far more boxes that are positive that are that this checks than that are negative, and I'm absolutely thrilled to own it. Um, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for uh, spending time to learn more about this T-shirt. It sounds crazy that we're both sitting here talking about a T-shirt, but it really embodies a lot of sustainable fashion, fair trade. It really embodies a lot of the qualities that led me to start this channel and sit here with you. So I'm happy to be here with you talking about a t-shirt. If these are the things you'd like to learn more about, uh, please subscribe. You know, we're, we're, we're hoping to build out this, this channel a little bit and hoping to bring you a lot more stuff. So if you like this, I think you'll like some of the other stuff that we bring you. So please hit the subscribe button. Let us know if there's any brands that you want us to focus on. If there's anything that you that you're familiar with in your travels, anybody that's doing something sustainable or something that you think we should be covering, you know, please let, drop us a line, send us an email, visit our website, consciousnessandeverydaylife.com, or just drop it in the comments below. Anyway, be well, take care, bye.